Dust bowl conditions are coming back to America. For decades, the U.S. was considered the breadbasket of the world, but those days have come to an end. As weather conditions get drier and drier, the nation's water reservoirs are rapidly drying up and dust bowl conditions are spreading across the country. Many factors are contributing to this alarming situation. Scientists have been warning that the U.S. water supply is being depleted at an astounding pace. New estimates indicate there won't be enough water to irrigate millions of acres of crops this year. On top of that, millions of Americans will be affected by water restrictions this summer. Over the past 20 years, drought conditions have become the new normal in many areas of the Southwest. In fact, meteorologists say that the West conditions that we enjoyed from the late 1940s to the end of the 1990s were the exception to the rule, and that most of the time the interior West is actually incredibly dry. They're also alerting that the current mega drought is likely to stay with us a lot longer than it did during the 1930s. As temperatures go up and water supplies go down, our ability to preserve our agricultural production gets dramatically compromised. Without enough water, we cannot grow enough food to feed our entire population. And with global food supplies getting tighter and tighter, we cannot afford to have a significant decrease in agricultural production right now. That is why what's happening is so worrying. For that reason, today we compiled several numbers that expose the dire effects of abnormally dry weather conditions in the United States. But before checking this list, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Without further ado, here are 20 signs that America is headed for another Dust Bowl. 1. According to the National Integrated Drought Information System, 42.41% of the U.S. and 50.66% of the lower 48 states experienced drought conditions this week. 2. On top of that, around 186.4 million acres of crops in the U.S. are currently in drought conditions. 3. Roughly 53 million Americans live in areas affected by extreme drought. However, at least 89.4 million people in the U.S. and 88.3 million people in the lower 48 states have been affected by drought this week alone. 4. According to the Drought Monitor, more than 93% of the land area in Utah, Colorado, Nevada, and New Mexico are in some level of drought, with 69% of Utah, 61% of Colorado being in severe drought. At the same time, more than three-fourths of Oregon, Arizona, and Wyoming are also in drought. According to meteorologists, the effects of severe drought include stunted and browning crops, limited pasture yields, dust storms, reduced well water levels, and an increase in the number and severity of wildfires. 5. In 2021, extreme heat has absolutely baked the southwestern region, with several states averaging temperatures 3 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. Amongst them, Phoenix has set a new record for the most days above 110 Fahrenheit in a calendar year, recording scorching hot temperatures in 34 days last year. Meanwhile, Cedar City in Utah has recorded just 0.05 inches of rain the whole of last summer, making it the driest on record, according to the Weather Channel. 6. Heat waves are happening far more often than they used to in major cities across the United States. Their frequency has increased steadily from an average of two heat waves per year during the 1960s to six per year during the past decade. 7. Today, the average heat wave season is 47 days longer than it was in the 1960s. Heat waves that occur earlier in the spring or later in the fall can catch people off guard and increase exposure to the health risks associated with heat waves, experts say. 8. Right now, 4.5 million U.S. homes are at high or extreme risk from wildfires, according to data compiled by Veris. 
Last year, there were 58,985 wildfires, which affected 7.1 million acres. By comparison, in 1983, when official record keeping began, there were just 18,229 wildfires and 1,323,666 acres were lost. From 2019 to 2021, there has been a 17% increase in the number of wildfires across the U.S. and a 223% increase since 1983. 9. The 2020 wildfire season caused $16.5 billion in damage, making it the third costliest year on record, only behind 2017 and 2018. However, this figure does not account for indirect damages. Altogether, Yale Climate Connections experts estimate that over $150 billion have been lost due to damages caused by wildfires since 2018. Wildfires can help to set the stage for huge dust storms in the future. 10. The failure of the summer monsoon and other moisture-carrying systems has parched more than 90% of western states. 11. Over the past 10 years, California has been using the most water in all of America by a considerable margin. In 2015 alone, California withdrew about 5.15 billion gallons of saline and fresh water every single day, Statista data shows. Today, most parts of the state are under mandatory water restrictions. Last July, Governor Gavin Newsom declared a drought emergency and asked Californians to cut urban water use by 15% compared to 2020 levels. But in March this year, the most recent month for which data is available, residents instead cranked open the taps, increasing urban water use by a staggering 18.9% statewide compared to March 2020. 12. Currently, 95% of the state of California is in a severe drought, and 59% is in an extreme drought, according to a weekly report issued by the federal government and the University of Nebraska. For that reason, the State Water Project is warning that California's water supply is dangerously low after the driest ever start to the year. That has led officials to introduce a plan designed to achieve at least a 35% reduction in water consumption this year, shrinking usage to about 80 gallons per household per day. By comparison, an average American household uses about 300 gallons of water daily. 13. At this moment, more than 6 million Californians are already facing unprecedented water restrictions as reservoirs are starting to run dry, over 64% of rank wells in California are already at historic low levels. 14. Extreme weather conditions have contributed to ongoing water woes across the entire U.S. West. Lake Mead and Lake Powell, two of the country's largest reservoirs that provide water for millions of people, both reached record low levels last year. In 2021, the federal government declared a water shortage at Lake Mead last year for the first time in the reservoir's history. 15. The drought that has enveloped southwest and North America for the past 22 years is the region's driest mega drought, defined as a drought lasting two decades or longer since at least the year 800, according to a UCLA-led study in the journal Nature Climate Change. Thanks to the region's high temperatures and low precipitation levels from summer 2020 through summer 2021, the current drought has exceeded the severity of a late 1500s mega drought that previously had been identified as the driest such drought in the 1,200 years that the scientists studied. UCLA geographer Park Williams, the study's lead author, Said with dry conditions likely to persist, it would take multiple wet years to remediate their effects. 16. Since 2000, the average soil moisture deficit has been twice as severe as any drought of the 1900s. And 
greater than it was even during the driest parts of the most severe mega droughts of the past 12 centuries. The study found that human-caused climate change is responsible for about 42% of the soil moisture deficit since the turn of the century. 17. The study also shows that Earth's warming climate has made the Western drought about 40% more severe, and there's a very strong chance the drought will continue through till 2030. Not only is this drought continuing to chug along, it's proceeding as at full steam pace as it ever has been, UCLA geographer Park Williams highlighted. 18. According to a new study, dust storms on the Great Plains have become more common and more intense in the past 20 years because of more frequent droughts in the region and an expansion of croplands. Our results suggest a tipping point is approaching where the conditions of the 1930s could return, says Gannett Haller, an atmospheric scientist at the University of Utah who led the study. In other words, dust bowl conditions seem to be coming back to haunt America. 19. In the U.S., crop failures and other economic losses due to drought have totaled $249 billion alone since 1980. In 2021, total crop and rangeland losses caused by abnormally dry weather conditions have caused losses estimated at over $12.5 billion. However, the real figure is likely much higher, given that this estimate does not include infrastructure damage, livestock losses, horticulture crop losses, or timber losses associated with drought-caused disasters. 20. The annual average temperature in the United States has increased by 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 degree Celsius, over the period from 1901 to 2016. From 2021 to 2050, annual average temperatures are expected to rise by about 2.5 Fahrenheit all across the nation. Meteorologists are warning that changes in the characteristics of extreme events are particularly critical for human safety, for infrastructure, agriculture, water quality and quantity, and natural ecosystems. Unfortunately, Many areas of the heartland of America are slowly but surely heading to another climate disaster. History tells us it's only a matter of time before dust bowl conditions return to America. Over the past few decades, we have counted on irrigation and other technologies to delay the inevitable. But at the end of the day, this cannot be stopped. At this point, we can only hope that the return of the Dust Bowl conditions is put off for as long as possible. But let's also prepare diligently for the worst because unexpected catastrophes can change everything much faster than we can even imagine. Please share this video with friends, family, subscribe to our channel, and your comments are welcome under this video.